anything can happen in Formula One, and of course it usually does. Each team has their own story to tell here today, and they all want it to end the same way, on that coveted top step of the podium. We go racing today then in the state of Victoria, where the drivers have 16 corners and 3.3 miles to navigate at an average lap speed of around 120 miles an hour. The close proximity of the barriers makes accidents inevitable, and recent history shows us that a safety car is not at all out of the question. I'm joined again today by none other than Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, obviously there's a lot of development work that goes on with these cars between the races. You've been both a test driver and a race driver. What differences are there in the way you approach those roles? Interesting question, Crofty. They're two very different mindsets. I mean, when I tested for BAR, we had full in-season testing where, per driver, you'd cover up to 15,000 kilometers per season. And in that role, it was more about working for the team, trying to help them improve the car and drive as systematically as you could, so that that data could be analyzed in the most consistent way. When you're lining up on the grid for a race, however, your frame of mind's all about what you can get out of the situation on that day. And the car's the tool to help you achieve what you want. You still want to focus on setup, of course, but it's more about the here and now, getting yourself as far up the field as possible, and less about development work for the future. Keep your eyes open on the run to turn one and keep it clean. We want to come out in one piece. Good luck. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of...
Police officials have enabled DRS. DRS is now available.
brilliant stuff from Mercedes today. That's another historic win. Tell me, Ant, what was the key to this success? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. And here are our podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here as they so often do, and it's a well-deserved victory. Mercedes then are on top today. And after this round of the world...